looks like alien, just like, like, and he pops his head out of my tent and just like, ah! I, I'm going home. Yeah? <laughs> I'm going home. You're going back? I'm going home. Hi, Molly. Hi. All right, we're getting ready to go. Today is the day that I will be starting my through hike of the Tahoe Rim Trail. And a friend of mine, Diana, is coming, um, and we are going to do it together. So, pretty excited. Um, there's a lot going on. There's like mess everywhere. Everybody's like doing things. There's Mama Mabus. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty excited to get back on the trails. It's been a while. Oh, Mom, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. pretty excited because I have some new gear and I get to test it out. Some of you know I was planning on hiking the Continental Divide Trail this year and you know it didn't work out because of the coronavirus. So um, you know my husband's deployed so I thought this was a great time to come be with my family in Nevada and because Lake Tahoe is like about an hour drive from our house um, and the pandemic is still going on and I do want to be respectful of the towns and other people so this was just the perfect little hike to do because my family is going to meet Diana and I um, a couple times for us to resupply so we don't have to like go into the towns or you know we're not going to be staying in any motels or anything like that so uh, we're going to be really safe and we're bringing our masks in case we come across like other hikers or day hikers or anything anything like that so I figured this was just a fantastic time to do the Tower Room Trail and we get to be safe thankfully to my parents and my sister who are gonna help us and be our trail angels so um, Molly is you see her she's just always finding crumbs and snacks Molly what are you doing Diana should be here in maybe like 20 30 minutes and I'm just finishing, you know, packing up and it looks like the next two weeks the weather is just going to be beautiful. Tahoe and Reno sometimes get struck with like random thunderstorms, so maybe there's something like that that will happen. But other than that, it's just going to be about 80 degrees, no rain, and I'm excited to get back on a little portion of the PCT. And yeah, I'm just excited to show you all what the Tahoe Rim Trail looks like. The puzzle is not coming with me, unfortunately. So it looks like a mess, but soon it'll all be in this beautiful Waymark gear bag. I've already got some things in there. My sleeping bag, tent, food, you know. All right, are you gonna? Yeah, yeah, where's the? Oh, it's over here. Okay. All right, you don't have to take a guess. I'm gonna take a wild uh, Okay, yeah, what's your guess? Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 41 pounds. 41? Okay. Yeah. It, oh, and two liters of water. Oh, and two liters, yeah. You have so, two liters of water. Two liters of water. About five days worth of food. Five days worth of food. Okay. The camera's over there. I'm not including my camera, but my oh, camera's Oh, yeah. You're gonna pounds. hold, yeah. I'm gonna say 41. Watch it. It's not gonna break the strap, is it? No. Okay. Okay, we'll let go. What is it? 40, she said 41. <gasps> Oh wait, that's not right. Oh, is it going up? Wait, Amber, <laughs> we need to put it down, put it down. I'm she's confused. Like, she's like, get it, so get faulty. it. All right. Oh, 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 oh gosh. Yeah, this is just for weighing the pack. We're not even hiking yet. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it's so heavy. Wait, it's only three pounds. Okay, wait. <laughs> What's wrong with my thing? Okay. Oh, figured oh, yeah. it out. Okay. She held it. Okay. 33.9. All right, 33.9. Oh my gosh, that's, that's way lighter. I'm exhausted yes. just from doing this. Okay. How much was it? 33.9. We were very confused with how to do it. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. I mean, it feels like a small child, so I was thinking like, <laughs> I was thinking like 40. Okay. Like my camera weighs oh. like two. Oh my gosh, I don't have this. On. All right. This is like two pounds. This is her new pack. What are you guessing? Okay, let me feel it. Oh wait, you guys. Where's your guess? This might not be able to. 
be on video. Are you guys just gonna use one container? Uh, I'm gonna yeah. hang mine. Oh. They're not, it's not required. Ooh, it's very lopsided because of the water. Um, I'm gonna say 26 pounds. 35 because she's always overpacked. Okay, mom, what? We used to go to New York. Okay, the whole case. Of like 15 cheese. years ago. Oh my god. We had to pay an extra 50 bucks. Okay, like reset. Yeah, reset. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, a little bit higher. 20. 28.3. All right, I was a little under. That's oh. Up. All right. That's not bad. No. I'm good. You got this. Super spreaders. <laughs> yep. Oh, and I don't think anyone's wearing masks or anything. Yep, right? That is insane. <laughs> Alright, mile zero. Ooh, I took my bear can. It's empty though. Hey, technically this is my second through hike. Yours too. Is it weird that I'm I'm like exhausted right now? Yeah, we're already tired. It's um 12:45 p.m. If I needed to make that clear, um, we had high hopes of getting out here early. Like 6 a.m. Yeah, like we were like, let's do it, and it's 12:45, so it's okay. It's all part of it. Yeah. All right. I've got my new Waymark gear pack. So it's a 38 liter, so a bit smaller, which is why my bear can's on the top. So we'll see how it works out. She's got a Waymark gear too. Mine's like double the size of yours. Yeah. We're not sponsored either. Just like this is, this is what we got. I know. She copied me. It's either way around. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tahoe rim trail. Tahoe rim trail right there. I've got very bright shoes and gaiters this time. <laughs> like, whoa. So if I'm missing, you'll be able to spot me from space. We've gone 1.4 miles and I'm already sweating so much with dirt. So like, it's 1.4 miles on the Look at the sweat. That's disgusting. I just, I'm laughing so hard because of how tired I am. Okay. Because we just, we are going up a bunny hill. Yeah. Okay. I was telling Jen, I was like, you know, it feels really good to be like homeless again. And like, you know, we're just starting to get in the rhythm of it. But I was telling her, I was like, my pack is like pretty heavy because I have like all my food in it. But I feel as a human, I feel like really light. Like, yeah. I think it's something like backpackers can relate to. But she she agrees with me. Like as a human, I just feel really light because it's just everything I'm dealing with in my life is on my back right now. That's it. Yeah. All I have to worry about is what's on my back. So I'm feeling pretty good, but we're a mile in, and I I'm ready for a nap. Yeah. I just stop, put my hair up, and address what this is. I think that like was the right word. So, like red already. But it feels good to be out here. It does. Yeah. yeah. It's just. It feels good to be dirty. I already feel just. I mean, I don't want to say happier, because it's not like I'm not happy in real life, but it just is like different, like this freedom, yeah. the unknown, but the challenge, and it just feels so good to breathe this air. Except um, we saw all of those, uh, what were they doing, um, float, floating down the river? Yeah, the tubers. The tubers, and there's like hun hundreds, it, uh, spread out, hundreds, I'm going to get you there's in this. The super spreaders! <laughs> the, she keeps calling them the super spreaders. <laughs> oh god, look at Because there's, like, we have our masks and we're avoiding people and we're having our, my, our parents, my, our parents, <laughs> my parents meet us for our food. And I mean, people are out day hiking, no problem. But these people are, like, 
floating in massive groups down the river. There's like 20, 30 of them like floating down a river. But I connected. Mean, but connected, yeah. But and out here, it's like, I think we've seen like yeah, two hikers. Yeah, here's fine, but there's, she keeps calling them the super spreaders. Okay, that's, I got it. That's my friend Dan. I'm sorry, oh, I can't take credit for that. Shout out to Dan. Yeah. Who probably, did he make that up? He probably got that from somewhere else. I, I, I want to say he made that up. Oh, but. the smart. Dan's smart. A guy just uh, walked past us and said he got stung by a wasp. And then there was a wasp on Diana. So one of us is probably getting stung at some point. I just don't understand how <sighs> you are so dirty already. Wait, say that again? <gasps> like, I don't understand how she's so dirty already. And this is like day one, like two hours We've, in. We're like at almost three mile mark. And I'll show you, I just have dirt on my legs. She was like rolling in dirt. But we've done the same same thing, so I don't understand. So I just got some dirt. Where did that come from? I don't know. Well, where does all this come from? And, oh, let's get in the sun. You can't see that. Oh, there we go. Dirt. I don't know. Snacky is going. Snackies, nice, clean, smart water bottle. So I wonder how quickly it's gonna take for this to get all nasty. Some people um, oh, yeah, could one. keep the same one for an entire, like, long through hike. Really? I, it's not that I'm grossed out, it's just mine would like break or something. Yeah, okay, you know. Oh my God. These smell so good. These what are, do they smell like? These are lemon lime. Oh, 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 sorry. I'm not even scared of bees, <laughs> but he just got stung. Um, this is lemon lime and it's sport for exercise. One gram of sugar. Yeah, look at it go. That's what we're going to recreate right now. I'm actually curious what these Oh, I have to break it. Here, do you want one for you? We're going to do this. I forgot. This is how out of a uh, trail shape I am. You have to break it. And then it like starts wow. to do it. Oh yeah, let me grab that. That's awesome. Yeah. So it takes, I don't know, a couple minutes to fully dissolve. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Who is this? Oh, hi. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi. Oh, look at this lobber. Look at that. You're going to have fun. Pretty pup. Literally getting eaten alive by flies and mosquitoes. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? There are a lot of uh, mountain bikers so far. They've all been like super respectful, but, oh, mosquito. But um, yeah, there's been a lot, so we have to keep obviously stepping off the trail. But yeah, finally, broke open a little bit. It's been pretty like wooded and you know sort of dense. So this is a nice little change. Look at this little gem. Look at that. We even have um this nice little trail. Skip. This is where you're supposed to skip. Well, this is what happened. Last night, I came out and I laid all this stone down. Oh, yeah. So you could have like a nice trail Thank to walk you. on today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Wow, oh, what a friend. Our first water source should be down here. So, yeah, I think we're gonna stop there for the night, actually.
Oh, hurdle it. Oh gosh. <laughs> Works. I'm gonna do this. Haha. <laughs> Alright, our first water source. It's really pretty. Ward Creek. Alright, we're gonna keep going a little bit. But we're gonna camp near here, I think. No, I know. First time wearing a tank top with a pack didn't go very well. Hurts pretty bad. Look at that. Ouch. It's not like a sunburn because the straps are covering it, but oh well. If I have to swap out a t-shirt in a few days, uh, I will. We have a couch. It's a couch. This is that's this pretty is awesome. luxury at its finest. A couch and then we could can... both sit like it has places for both of us to sit and we can these things go under our knees oh you know? it's like when they give you massage <laughs> and they like lift up your knees like it's, that it's yeah it's Flintstones couch it's perfect I think I'll take it. yeah there's this nice little bridge we crossed with water imagine that imagine that there's water under the bridge <laughs> and our little campsite but um it's a little wonky, but we don't care. So, seven and a half miles today, it's not bad. Scout in a pee spot. I saw this spot until I saw these snake holes. Oh yeah, oh, Diana God. doesn't like snakes. <laughs> Can you imagine like in the middle of the night, I'm sleeping and the snake's trying to poke his hole out of my tent. Looks like alien, just like, like, <laughs> and he pops his head out of my tent and just like, <gasps> I'm going home. Yeah? I'm going home. You're going back? I'm going home. Eee. So she's made a lot of progress. So have I. We're like not getting anything done right now. All oh. I'm thinking about is like dinner. Yeah, I just want to eat, but okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to set up my tent. But the thing is, I have a new tent. It's a Z Pax. It's a Pleximate. So it's a one person, and I had a one person last time, but um, the one I had before was a Solplex. <laughs> this is a little different. Um, so I'm going to set it up for the first time. It's going to be fine. All right, I got it set up. How long did it take me, you think? Uh, roughly three and a half hours. <laughs> yep. But... It's like actually sunrise, so it's the next day. <laughs> That's yeah, that's the sunrise, but this is my tent. It's still really wonky But I'm not gonna fix it anymore cuz the the ground's pretty soft in some areas So you see I've already had to use some like big rocks, but it looks good. Yeah, this is the Z Pax uh, Pleximid. It's one person. It only uses one trekking pole unlike my other tent uh, one person tent that uses two, but it could use some improvements being set up next time, but this is I'm satisfied now I can eat Oh. All right, so here we go. Explain we go. what's on the menu tonight. Um, the menu is this soggy tortilla with chili lime and wild tuna, plus a lot of its juices that unexpectedly came out. And then I have this massive block of cheese. Okay. Yeah. Which might last me two days. And then some avocado. Yeah. I don't know where that little bugger went. Oh, it's right there. This looks quite delicious. Now I'm going to cut all this up with the knife I just dropped in the dirt. <laughs> so. Damn it. It's my avocado. And there's more there. There's some nice wild flowers right here. Some really green moss on that tree with the sound of trickling water. It's just so peaceful. Oh, 
Okay, so to recap, day one on the Tahoe Rim Trail, starting at Tahoe City and hiking counterclockwise, so technically we've been going south. Um, we did seven and a half miles today, which is a pretty good day. Um, this creek that we're at is like the last water source for a while. We have like a huge climb in the morning. So we just decided to stop here and it's really peaceful. We ran into several people coming by and you know, hiking the opposite direction. Day hikers, other through hikers, a lot of mountain bikers um, and a lot of dogs. And um, it's been great. Everyone has been so kind. We are the only people here in this area though. So I don't think there's a lot of people out right now, just in general, because this is a pretty good water source and no one is here, but it's good. Um, everyone's staying safe. And like I said earlier, we have our masks if needed, if we run into people. So yeah, I'm pretty full from dinner. I made a mess, but I cleaned it up. Um, just went and like washed my hands in the little creek and it's just really cold, but really refreshing. And I think, you know, it's kind of early. What time is it? It's 7, 10 p.m. And I think we're just going to get into our jammies and just hang out and maybe um, go to bed early so that we can get up early and start that big climb before it gets super hot. I think even people who've hung a perfect bear bag, bears can still, if they want to get it. They're yeah. so nimble. Well, when there's nowhere to hang a bear bag, I just do this thing. I wrap it. Uh -huh. And then a uh, tie. It's called a Diana wrap and tie. Wrap and tie. Wrap Diana. And tie. Diana wrap and, and tie. I feel like I'm pretty tall, so I can get it up. Oh, okay, here we go. Are you like okay? So I just stick it right here. Like a ornament in a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, this is perfect. But oh, here we go. Oh God, there's a lot of branches breaking. <laughs> okay. And my my outlook on it is. If the bear gets it, good for him. I'm out of food. I'll just restock at the next town. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, but there's nowhere to hang it. Uh, so I, this is what I normally do, but... Where's the where's the wrap and tie? We missed that part. part. Oh, you got that right there. Oh, yeah. Well, because I usually... <laughs> I'll usually put it, like, up high. Okay. And then I'll wrap it around a tree. I got but it. Because there's two... Why are you doing this? <laughs> this is just... Okay, because there's two trees right here and it fits really well. I guess the main thing is you don't want it on the ground because then the critters can get to this it. This is called a squeeze and wedge. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. The action no. that is now going to start. It seems pretty firm. It's, we're good. We're good. No tie. We're good. So, no wrap and tie. It's a 50-50. Just a squeeze and wedge. It's a 50-50 if it'll be there in the morning. Okay. It's kind of like a surprise. Yeah, the, that was my whole outlook on the PCT. <laughs> Wait, I feel like you're going to be like, this girl is doing everything right. <laughs> Did you see my food set up? Okay. This is, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's the biggest rock. Oh god, I'm so sorry you had to see that. So that is how Diana performs her squeeze and wedge. Now, continue watching to watch me put my bear canister away and out of danger. Well, I think that was a pretty good first day. Dude, heck yes. I'm like hearing all these noises. I have to get used to them again. We just took our packs off for, I guess, the second time. Feel like a new woman. <laughs> oh, All right, so, so there's Diana. Off she goes. 